my friends and welcome back to my channel today what's gonna happen is I had to get a new uh, weed sprayer that we use on the road a lot of us that travel around as a shower okay I'm gonna put these on because again it is kind of bright out here it helps me a lot so my other one lasted four years it was amazing it was an ace hardware brand but what had happened is it ended up um, not having any uh, pressure anymore no matter how much you pumped it you cannot get the pressure so it, it busted uh, so I had to get rid of it and get a new one so I have a different brand this time I hope I have as much luck with this one as I did with my other one but I'm gonna go over why I chose this one and we're gonna go over converting it the whole process of taking a spray nozzle like this and connecting it onto the weed sprayer and why we have to do that I am so ready to get this thing up and running but I've been waiting to film this for you guys and I'm in much need of a shower and also plus it'll help me to cool off because it is up to the 90 degree weather so if I might look a little dirty here and there I mean I've been trying to sponge bath we have more than one way of, of showering but I really prefer this method as my number one primary way so I have been really missing my my shower so we are definitely going to get going on this while the weather is cooperating for me to finally get this filmed and I can have my shower back okay all right so let's get started Now hopefully the wind will cooperate. That's one of the reasons why I haven't been able to film because it can get so breezy out here. But I do have a sun cell up right behind over here. So hopefully that will help me and to be able to finally get this filmed. Now I want to also show you, especially um, ladies out there, I have a pocket knife that I am just so in love with. I got I got this uh, about maybe a year ago now, and it's called a Rat 2. Okay, there's a Rat 1, which is a little bigger for people with larger hands, and it's great for men. But for ladies that have small hands, and I have a small hand, this Rat 2 is just amazing. It's not very expensive. I believe it's a $25 pocket knife. I have two of them in case I lose one. I've got a backup because I like it so much, okay? So it's just ideal for women with small hands. So always have a handy pocket knife. Makes it really easy. So one of the first things I'm gonna do is uh, get it out of the box obviously but before I actually cut the wand off I want to test it out and make sure that it works the pressure works great on it before I start cutting anything off and I'm gonna go over why I chose this particular brand I get it out of the box and I want to go over why I chose this one I didn't go with the ace hardware one that I really did love and it lasted so long because of convenience of getting to a, a local store that happened to be there and this is one of the brands that they carried in there and I believe Scott 
has been around for a really long time so it definitely I feel confident that this should last for a while longer another thing I was looking for is something that is taller and they had one that was 1.5 gallons but it was shorter and a little bit fatter in diameter the one that I had was very similar to this shape. It went up tall, so more vertical, because it's going to take less space where I need to carry it when I'm traveling, which is inside of my bathroom. I do have a wet bath inside my van, because my van is a Class B style van, so it has a wet bath. So I wanted also to have a two gallon because the more water that I can take with me, the better it's going to be. And also when I shower and I shower my hair and my body, I, I usually need about three gallons when I do that. So I keep an extra gallon on hand so I can fill it up into this and it's all warmed up. So that's why I want at least a two gallon and to be able to go high and vertical. And this was exactly the shape that I wanted and being two gallon, okay? So that's why I chose this one. They really come down in price. This was only $20, which was the same price as well as the 1.5 gallon. So, no brainer on that one. Why am I going to spend the same money when I can go ahead and get a two gallon for the same price? So, it's win win situation, okay? So, one of the things that we need to do to get started is to put this, your line water cable, whatever you want to call it. So we want to put this in inside. Okay, pretty easy to get started and go ahead and screw it down. Okay, so the next step is to go ahead and connect this. I actually have never got this brand before as you as I mentioned. I'm wondering if this will work without converting it. <laughs> we'll see. Hmm. I'm kind of wondering now. Look, so it has the different attachments that my other one did not have. This is actually a really nice nozzle if you didn't want to convert into a longer hose. Hmm. But the only thing is this goes like how this is oh I see no see this needs to be pointed the other way let me see if I can get that to be pointed down I mean if you could deal with a shorter hose I almost really I almost like this better all right we're gonna come back let me check this out real quickly okay I played with it a couple of times and it is just gonna land here but remember it's designed to have this long wand thing but the problem when it's when it's like this it's a little more awkward trying to spray yourself but let me put this on because the problem why I'm thinking of this because I really like this my other one did not have this this actually has a fan a cone a stream you have a couple different settings on this so if I can make this work I almost don't want to convert it onto this we usually cut it off and then we attached one of these sprayers that you would use in your kitchen your kitchen sprayers and then we would splice it and connect it to this is what we do with this fitting but now that this is really nice let me stick this wand on and let me see if it might work this way <laughs> be right back okay so I have it on and see this is the problem is this isn't flexible so when you need to do your hair, 
you really need to have something shorter. I mean, this would be great to, you know, kind of do your, your, maybe your body, but now it does have a lock on here that my other one didn't have. So that's kind of nice where you could lock it and then grab onto this. I mean, it's got potential, but one of the problems is if this is on the ground, and a lot of times I'll shower with that on the ground, and then I have to be able to get my, my head, or I sit on a stool, actually. I, um, but, you know, when I'm on a stool, this thing would work. <laughs> the sprayer looks like first, because I'm just in love with this sprayer, but let's see if it's going to work as good as I think it's going to work. So let's test it out. We'll get some water in here and then we'll go from there and figure out if I'm going to convert this over or not. I'm anxious to test this out. Oh, this is a really much smoother handle than my last one. All right, here we go. So this is a, what they call a fan. There it goes. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Okay, this is a cone. And then here's the stream. I don't see myself using the stream, but that's the cone. And then the, the fan. Hmm. Yeah, that would end up using a lot of water. See how that is? That would use a lot of water. I don't know. Hmm. And this really, the cone, it's, this is just two of a, it's kind of like a wispy, <laughs> kind of too, too soft. And yeah, none of these actually is just right. So maybe I will cut it and put it, up, put it to this. This actually has a nice, perfect stream for when you want to shower. Yeah, I don't, this is just too wispy, wispy. Yeah, I don't like that. Man, I've been doing this for four years. <laughs> so I kind of know what I'm looking for. And that would be just, I don't know, too much water. Not what I'm looking for. To get, especially with my hair. Maybe someone else. But I have a hair. I have to get through this and get it rinsed. Without using a lot of water. But also having enough to get the job done but without using too much water so i don't know i think i am going to cut it off yeah okay i think that's my decision and i think i like to have a longer hose i just like the fact that you can imagine when this is hooked up and spliced at there's nothing like having a longer hose so the next thing i need to do is i need to get this off and I'm hoping this will work to get this off of here. Okay. What I'm going to do is see if this is going to be the same size. I think it should work. Okay. Okay, I think this should work. But see, this is what it looks like. Hope you can see. So you got to buy this little adapter here, this little fitting, and you can get it at a hardware store. I wish I knew the number of it, but I don't. But it's just an adapter that you can hook a hose to another hose. Okay, and this, this part here, let's see if I can get it in there close enough for you to see. Okay, so this part is screwed into here so to see there's threads there and then um, the other part's going to go on to here so again i don't know the number of this fitting but 
I'll hold it there one more time so you can maybe take a uh, picture of it or something off of whatever screen you're watching this and go match it up at the store. You're fitting a hose to a hose. Okay, so with that in mind, now I'm going to go ahead and hope that this is going to be the right size because once I cut this off, it is. But I'm almost wondering if this might be a little bigger, but I'm hoping not. It's off. Now, normally you would want to use plumbers tape or something to help secure it on there. But I don't have any. I'll add it later. But there's no threads. It's just kind of more like a it's kind of riveted or something. Oh yeah, this is going to work. This is the right size. It's going to work. So hopefully it won't leak because I can pull this off later and stick something in there or even um, some kind of marine goop or something. I've got some of that on hand, but I'm hoping I won't have to do that. Okay, I think that's going to work out fine. That, that was that simple. Look at that. All right, so let's test it out. I'm going to pump it. And you'll see why I like this type of sprayer be uh, better. There it goes. I mean, it's just the perfect amount of water. I mean, look at that. It's just what I need to wash my hair and to rinse. I mean, it, it is just what I need. <laughs> not too much, not too little. I just love it. All right, so we're going to see if... And this is refreshing, by the way, because it is <laughs> it is 90 degrees out here. So as soon as this is over with, I'm going to shower. All right, so I don't think I'm leaking anywhere. It fit pretty tight in there. And it was kind of like tiered, I guess, kind of ribbed, ribbed, I guess, is what you would call it. So it just kind of fit snug right on there. This is perfect. Oh, my gosh. Now, the one thing I did notice that I made a mistake with this particular sprayer that I did not notice when I bought it, it's not that big of a deal, is there needs to be a pressure release valve. So my other one, you just pulled the release valve and it released the pressure. Well, this one doesn't have one. I didn't realize that they sell some with it and without it, okay? This one didn't have it. My last one did have that. So then they recommend that you tilt it to the side. And, and then when you tilt it to the side, I guess the pressure is supposed to be released. But, see... So there goes the release. Okay, so no more pressure. Another option I noticed when I was playing around with this is another thing is when I had it all pumped up, all I did is just turn this just slightly and I just can hear the shh. That's all I did is I just turn, opened it up, really gently untwisted it. You want to release the pressure so it doesn't stay built up inside your lines and onto your sprayer because I guess it could cause damage or weaken, you know, your, your sprayers through time if you kept your pressure like that. So... I just prefer to go ahead and, and get that pressure released. Now, once you release that pressure, then all I had to do was just tighten, tighten this back up again. As long as you don't pump it again, you're good to go. So that's something to keep in mind. I 
made that mistake, but it's easy to work around that issue. And I'm actually kind of wondering if that's what broke on my other one is because it's always banging around inside of my bathroom and I just wonder if that could have broke or damaged it. I don't know. You can tell me what you think. Um, I don't know enough about these reed sprayers to know why all of a sudden it just would not do any pressure at all. So that's what I'm thinking is through banging and because it, it can hit in there and traveling. And I mean, it still lasted four years, but maybe that's the part that kind of busted and then it would no longer have any pressure or maybe it's something that broke in the actual handle pump part of it. So maybe something like this will last a little bit longer. I don't know, time will tell, right? But this thing is four years old and it's still going strong. Original one. This is my second sprayer in four years. So this thing didn't last. And I think this, this one lasted, the other one, three years. So I got this a year ago. And then my weed sprayer, the last one, it, it lasted four years before having to get a new one of these. Okay? For any that are new to my channel, um, I actually have a shower privacy utility tent. And I'll put a link to that video up on one of these um, sides here. It's the Green Elephant Privacy Tent. I still use that thing. I've had it now going on a year and I still absolutely love that thing. Let me show you it real quickly. I'm not going to set it up. I'll just kind of show you the bag. Okay, so here is my Green Elephant Utility Tent. But rather than go through the whole setup and the whole process, I did that a year ago. I did a, a video on it and how to fold it back up and everything. So I'll put a link to that, but this thing is still going strong. I love it. Um, what I have done when it's windy is uh, instead of tearing the whole thing down, all I've done is I just kind of fold down the top. I really just put it all down and I put a bunch of heavy stuff on it, water bottles and stuff like that. And then when as soon as the strong wind is over with, I can pop it back up again. So that's what I've been doing rather than tearing the whole thing down. Now I did not leave it up in anywhere where I knew there was a lot of rodents. So when I was in Nevada and I was struggling with all the pack rat issue, I did not I want to leave it up. I was really careful with a lot of things. They actually damaged one of my chairs. So I actually folded this back up and I put it away and I just popped it up and down when I needed it. And, and I just did that because this was too much money uh, to have it destroyed. This was $50 and I did not want to lose it. It just wasn't worth it. Now over here there's no there's no rodents. I haven't seen anything um, so I won't have any problem if I left it up. Um, so that's something to think about. I do use this inside my wet bath as well because I use less water than my onboard shower. That just that just has a stronger stream and I'm always trying to conserve my water when I'm out traveling and stuff. I use Dr. Bronner's Pure Castle Soap, okay, and it's 18 to 1 hemp baby unscented and it's certified fair trade made with organic oils. This is environmental friendly so I use that and you don't need very much at all. Okay, let's see if I can get, make sure that's coming in so you can see it. Okay, hope that's coming in. Let's see, there, there it is. Okay, so you don't need very much. That's why I like this a lot. I even use this on my hair. I just love it. It's just all in one. <laughs> if you have any questions or anything that 
you have thought of that I might not have mentioned. Let's talk about it. Put your comments down below. I appreciate you all for coming along with me, traveling with me, and I'm so ready to go use this now. <laughs> all right, I love you all. I'll look forward to seeing you in that next video.